What's going on guys, this is Boy Alex, I'm back at you with another video, and today in this video, it's going to, today is day uh, three of the Aquascape Pond build. Uh, today we are finally finishing off the waterfall and getting that so it is able to run. So we, I'm going to head out with my, uh, my aunt's boyfriend to the Lowe's, my aunt and her boyfriend to Lowe's, to get the pump and the waterfall film so we can finally finish this waterfall off and have a full ecosystem pond, and then later I'll be able to put fish in it. I'm not going to film at Lowe's because my battery is almost dead on this camera so I'm going to leave it here to charge and I'll pick it up when we get back with the stuff. Okay guys, so we just got back with the uh, pump and waterfall foam. Sorry, I'm wearing a glove. The foam is uh, a little messy. I've already uh, screwed up once and now my hand's all black. But uh, as you can see, we got the uh, pump, which is right here. Uh, it's going to go onto the tubing, which is right there. And uh can't tell I've already foamed in the rocks. I just have to cut away some of that so it's not exposable. And uh, I'm not going to turn it on for a while because I'm going to let the foam dry. And then, uh, then I'll turn it on. So I'm going to go ahead, trim back some of this foam, and then I will catch you guys when uh, I'm about to turn it on. Okay, guys, so I got everything connected. As you can see right here, the pump is officially attached. I got the hose buried underground, and I got, uh, I don't know if you can tell, oh, there's a glare, you can kind of see it right there. I got like a metal clamp on there, just so you know, the water leaks out of the pump, so it all goes up the tube. And I've already tested this with the tube uh, not connected. Stop and, the tube! Uh, Stop. So I've already tested this with the tube not connected, and it shoots a lot. This pump's made for a thousand gallon pond, and this, pump, this pond's nowhere near a thousand gallons, so we should have nice flow on that waterfall. So, until the time comes where my whole family is here to see it run for the first time, I'll catch you guys when that happens. Okay guys, so, uh, sorry I didn't get to show you guys the waterfalls running, um, or turned on. I completely forgot to do that. That's totally my fault, but uh, it's because uh, I was with family. Uh, my aunt and uncle were down. Uh, so, yeah, we did get the pumps. We got the pump, which I showed you for the first, for the pond. And we also got the pump for the water, for the pondless waterfall, too, which is, I can show you right there. But, uh, and we also got something else for the pond, too, which is really cool. But, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the pondless first. So, um, I, cause I had to do a few things to it. As you can tell I, the water basin is, has water in it. So I did get it all foamed in. It's, this is not 100% complete yet. You can still see the foam, which once I have finished rock putting, doing rock work, you will not be able to see it. Uh, I don't have a waterfall spillway uh, for this one because it's not really big. If I had to, take a guess the basin probably holds about eight to ten gallons of water which that's like what you would see in an aquarium like water feature uh, and if you see me like bundled up like this it's during the spring it's because uh, it's like not 50s right now which isn't really that warm for the spring at all but it's gonna get really warm it's gonna get close to 90 this upcoming week but uh, as you can still see, there's exposed liner. So I'm gonna explain to you guys what I had to do for this. Uh, I also had to put in a pump vault right there too. So at first what I did is I had the pump, which sits right in here. And I had it buried under the rocks. So uh, I scrapped that idea and I decided I had to put in a pump vault because this pump has the thing where you can like adjust the uh, the water flow so uh, yeah um, and then the when I turned it on it was like spilling leaking out the sides it was a mess so I had to actually foam it in a lot more which you can tell and then I actually had to raise the liner if like I had to put like rocks under it like this is for the uh, the basin but I actually had to put like rocks under it like there too and like this so it actually works now uh, and then uh, for the pump vault, I just had to, uh, I just got this little plastic container, which works perfect. Uh, and I poked holes in the side, cut a notch in it for the uh, 
for the cord and yeah it actually works perfectly so I and it works just so I can access the pump but uh, I'm going to go ahead and turn it on so you guys will get to see what it looks like alright you guys ready in three two one So yeah, there we go. There's the uh, pondless waterfall. Um, it's really nice, actually. It'll look better once I get more uh, water flow. Uh, not water flow, when I rock it in more. But as you can tell, water just goes right into the basin, right into the pump vault, and the pump sucks it out. And I don't know if you can tell. You, you, can't, you can kind of see that little ripple right there. You can see the water going into it. So, it works actually really good. So, uh, yeah. Um, now I'm gonna go ahead and show you what I actually accomplished from showing you guys what I built in part one and part two of this video. Okay guys, you ready to see what extra stuff we added to the pond and the waterfall finally running? Well, here you go. It looks 10 times nicer now. Sorry for the glare, fuck you, son. Um, but uh, I wish I could adjust, this camera had a uh, mode where I can adjust the lighting, but we added plants to it. So now it's like an actual water garden. Here, let me come over here. So we added like all these around the waterfall. These, I did not plant at all. These, these, and like that, I did not. I did not plant that. We planted everything like that's tall around here, and the mosses too. But I can't wait because that moss is just gonna spread. And what I'm hoping these two will do is they will get big enough and they will start like going over the biofall, so it like basically hides it. So that is gonna look sick. So are you guys ready to see? The, uh, oh, let me get it where the sun's not a problem. So, you guys ready to see it running? Well, I mean, I've already seen it, but I'm excited to see what your guys' reaction is. Comment down below. Let me know how I did. Again, the pond list isn't 100% done yet. I'd say it's about 90. I just need to rock it in. And that's about it. So, about 90% done. So, yeah. I'm going to go ahead and turn it on for you guys so you guys can see what it looks like. Okay guys, you ready to see it? In three, two, one, here we go. Here it comes. Okay guys, so it's running. It sounds nice. Like listen to that. It's got nice flow coming out of the biofall. Listen to that. Yes, there's exposed liner right there. I do need to put in more like sheetrock to hide that. But for now it's okay. Um, again, there's the pump. The pump that's meant for a 1,000 gallon pond when this pond is not anywhere near 1,000 gallons at all. So, yeah, um, that is going to go ahead and do it for this video. Um, I might try and build a uh, little urn fountain for my mom for her birthday because these two, like this one was technically for my grandma, but Sadly, she is no longer with us. Uh, she passed away uh, last month, uh, but I'm not gonna get into that. That's totally not necessary for this video. But yeah, with all that being said, I hope you guys went on to enjoy this whole Aquascape water feature series. If you did, please smash a big thumbs up down below. Comment 
if you guys would like to see the process of me building more water features in the future and yeah subscribe to the channel if you guys are new and uh, comment down below like I already said if you guys want to see more water feature or water garden stuff or any or just any updates in general on the two I already have on, on the pondless or on the pond so yeah with all that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this three-part series. Sorry it took me a while to upload part three. Uh, I just had to get the remaining remainder of the stuff, and I was in the process of building the uh, pond list and all that, etc. And it just took me a, a lot longer than it should have to get the pumps from just this one alone. That one was the second idea. But yeah, sorry this outro is long. So yeah, with all that being said, it's your boy Alex. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.